Welcome back to another multimeter review. Today we're taking a look at the B side. We're flipping it to the B side, boys and girls. Yeah, what do I mean by that? I haven't got a clue. No, what I mean by that is B as in the B side name. It's the B side digital multimeter, the ADM92CL. Something new, something a little different. It's not your typical looking multimeter, that's for sure. Um, has a lot of functions, has voltage, current, resistance, frequency, capacitance, temperature, continuity, live wire check, and diode. Now this little guy is powered by two AAA batteries, and in the box, it comes with a little carrying case. Nothing fancy, just your typical, I mean, it looks like you could put gold nuggets in this thing, but uh, yeah, anyway, comes with that comes with a thermocouple as well, just the El Cheapo variety. And speaking of Cheapo, this is a Cheapo multimeter. Yes, you can get this guy for about 20, 21 bucks US, around 27 or so Canadian dollars. Pretty darn cool. I will put down the purchase link in the uh, comments field below this video. So they call this a Swiss army knife and it's not because it's really sharp. No, it's because it does lots of things. Now, right away, you can tell this is a versatile little meter. True RMS and basically designed as a one hand deal. Ships with a small user guide and it is in English as well. Not bad actually, have some great little pictures yeah all in all pretty decent little manual also comes with this set of leads now what surprised me is the fact that these leads are actually quite large if we put them beside the meter they're same size as the meter maybe even bigger so right away i probably would have preferred a smaller size lead to go with such a small meter battery housing on the back Here's where your triple A's go, two of them as you can see, and yes, it has a threaded insert, good stuff B-side. Also comes with this handy clip, so you can put this on your belt or wherever you want to hang it, but it's nice to have that added little bit of functionality. The leads themselves have the safety cover on the top, which just comes off. They're rated at Cat3 1000 volts. They have the B-side logo, and like I said, they are quite large in their hand. Um, tip is really not too sharp or pointy, um, but I'm sure it'll suffice. Now, they also have this interesting little three dot thing going on here. I'm not sure what that's for, but um, yeah. So generally speaking, they're not bad leads. Um, they're not silicone, they are PVC, but um, is there any gauge? No, no gauge indicator on the wires whatsoever. Um, they don't feel terribly cheap, so that's probably a good thing. We'll do a continuity test with these a little later, check them out, but um, there you go. The tips themselves do have a decent size shroud, um, not too short, not too long, and it does have that split tip for the probe insert. Let's take a look at the feature set of the B-Side ADM92CL with the uh, selector switch itself. You have a one-handed operation. Starts off um, with live, the off position, voltage AC, DC. Here we have the set of functions, continuity, resistance, diode, and capacitance. Here we have the milliamp range, and the milliamp range, I believe, only goes to 200 milliamp. Yes, 60 to 200 milliamp. So pretty finite, small range. I don't know how useful that'll be, but, um, it is what it is and at the bottom we have the temperature mode so all of it as you can tell easily accessible by a single turn of the button with your thumb also we have four touch buttons the hold and light as well as the select followed by the frequency and the voltage alert at the bottom right and uh, actually nicely spaced and I do like the uh, slight difference in variance in color coding, so it makes it pretty simple to operate. 
Now they're calling the display an HD color LCD display. Um, it is not your typical LCD display, that's for sure. Um, that being said, it is actually quite nice. Um, easy to read in light or um, dark conditions. And in terms of the overall glare, it doesn't really matter what angle you're looking at. It's always fairly readable. So yeah, kudos. I do like this um, LCD display. Very nice. Although something a little different. And um, I think it's looking pretty good. So B-Side is trying to market this as a meter for any occasion. They are trying to say that you can use it in the one-handed mode, come saw. So perhaps you want to do some probing. Uh, you can reverse the lead, putting it down in the opposite direction like so. And as well, you can also use it as your basic multimeter in terms of the uh, overall functionality. Um, once again, you know, I do find the leads a little on the large side, especially for such a diminutive meter. And I think people that are going to use this probably aren't going to use it as a regular bench meter. You're probably going to throw this in your bag or back pocket and uh, take it off site. But for that type of use, definitely, I think it's uh, a good fit um, and have a lot of versatility. We're going to do a quick voltage accuracy test. We have it in volts DC mode and I will hook it up to the voltage precision voltage tester. We're at the 250 millivolt level. Looking pretty good. Now we'll try the 2.5 volts. Not bad, not bad at all. So the B side has a capacitance rating of six millifarad according to the manual. Um, let's live on the edge. I've got a 10 millifarad or 10,000 microfarad capacitor. Let's just see if it can do that. And look at that. 9.566 millifarad, so right on. No problems with the 10 millifarad capacitor. Awesome. Okay, without further ado, starting off with the red LED. And there we go, forward voltage drop and illumination. Over to the yellow, same. Green, there we go. White, 2.6 and illuminated. And finally the blue, perfect. So five out of five in the diode testing mode. According to the user guide in diode mode, the output voltage should be about 3.3 volts. It's actually better, it's almost four volts. So that should be enough to light up most LEDs. Now we're in resistance mode. Now there is no rel on this meter, but we'll check the resistance of the leads themselves. So that's pretty good. All right, let's start off with a 0.5 resistor. And looking good. 22 mega ohm. Perfect. Okay, we're sitting in the milliamps range right now. Like I said, this only does up to 200 milliamps. Not very good. Uh, we're sitting at around 45 milliamps. Take it up to around 90 or so, so showing up as around 94. Yeah, let's go a little bit higher, 170 milliamps. So yeah, in the milliamp range it seems to be okay, but once again, you are limited by that very low milliamp range. Finally, in temperature mode, you have your choice between Celsius or Fahrenheit, and you do not need to have the thermocouple atta attached if you strictly want your ambient room temperature. Of course, it does ship with the thermocouple, so if you do want to do some testing of liquid or uh, heat, what have you, you have that option. Now, the B-side also ships with something called live mode. So if we take a um, live power source, for instance, and you want to verify if you indeed have power, probe, and as you can see, it gives you an indicator that yes, there is a voltage alert 
It is live. Next up is Continuity, one of my favorites, starting off with the default pro. So, you know, it's not bad. It, it's, it's, um, could be a little bit louder, but it is latched and doesn't click every time. Now we'll try some Probe Masters. Wow. Night and day, like butter, butter, butter. Spot on. It's even louder. It's latched. It's perfect. Finally, the B-side also utilizes the non-contact voltage. Hold down on the blue button that says voltage alert. And put it up to a power source. And as you can see, it tells you that there is voltage there. Okay, next we're going to take this puppy apart and see what it's like on the inside. Ooh, 3D, 3D. Okay, so to get to the inside, they have one of the screws hidden underneath that little clip protector, and you remove that Phillips, and away you go. Oh yeah, check it out. So right off the get-go, as you can probably see, they don't have your standard fuse. They have the resettable fuses here. That's, um, in this case, I think that's actually a good... So here we have not one, but two PPTC resettable fuses. We have a, um, looks like a couple of MILFs and one nice big diode and another PTC here for the input protection. So yeah, all in all, not too shabby. This is the non-contact voltage detection wire here. Eh, I think that's a little... Um, lame personally uh, a filament would have been better or something um but yeah anyway that's for your ncv the ic itself is cob we have a couple of transistor clamps going on over here and the main speaker piezo as well as a crystal oscillator this is the um, power to the the um, pcb from the batteries um yeah let's take a look on the other side so here we are on the other side we have the rotary selector switch here the tracks as you can see are quite well spaced um, looks pretty good actually going down the line here is the uh, lcd display and that is just being tacked on by a couple of um, holders here stoppers the actual zebra strip itself is over here there's the elastomer that is what is feeding your very nice hd lcd display finally the rotary switch here the selector um, switches here fairly simplistic in terms of the overall mechanics but you know what sometimes the simplest things are the best And if we just pop off the probe input protector jack, as you can see here, they are of the split variety. And they are gobbed in with nice big smacks of solder. So I don't see any issues long term because that's in there pretty darn good. Yeah, the only part of this whole assembly that I'm not too impressed with is that NCV wire here pretty darn measly um, yeah you know pretty good decent input protection obviously b-side doesn't want people inside the meter hence the resettable fuses but that being said all in all for what this meter is designed for I think it's a pretty darn good implementation and if we look at the fab date we've got March 25th 2018 ADM 92-2 Put it back together and come up with the closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the B-Side ADM92CL. I really like this little meter. It's pretty cool. I'll take this over one of those pen-type multimeters any day. Definitely if you're on the road, you want to throw something for a quick and easy diagnostic, this is the tool for you. 
Would I use it on the bench? Probably not. I'm more, I don't know what you want to call it old fashioned. I just prefer a regular multimeter in terms of bench use. But that being said, uh, this is still a great, great meter. Look at that capacitance mode. That measured a nice, nice 10 millifarads. So almost twice the capacity range as specified. Nice in terms of the diode output voltage, almost four volts, plenty enough juice to light up most LEDs. Continuity, as you can see, with the default probe, it's not bad, but put in a set of probe masters and look out, baby. This one can really do some continuity. It's a little lacking in terms of the milliamp range, only up to 200 milliamps, but it does have those resettable fuses, which is really nice because you don't want to have to break open this bad boy every time you blow a fuse because the range is so low. Hey, all in all, I think this is a really cool, neat little multimeter. It's true RMS, really small, really compact, little powerhouse, I would call it, and I really like it. At the end of the day, I'm going to give the B-Side ADM92CL a solid 4 out of 5 stars. If you're interested in getting this meter, I will put a purchase link below the video. And hey, I love the comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And most importantly, keep on testing.